In this video, I'm going to show you how to stop and start any of the components in your AR system that have been started by the AR monitor. So first of all, from the landing page, you can simply choose the Remedy Management Console and the AR System Server Group Console. This is where you'll get the functionality. And this functionality is built into the Manage Processes item here. So click on Manage Processes and you'll see a list of all the processes that are running in your AR System environment. So let's say I wanted to make an update to my FTS plugin server and restart it with those changes. So I would look through the list here to find the FTS plugin server, which I see right here. I click on it and I'll get all the settings for the plugin server. And let's say I wanted to do something like decrease the number of threads. Let me just temporarily set it to 25. And now for this change to take effect, I'll click apply here. And now I want the FTS engine to run with that setting. So I'll click on operation, stop. And then I'll click on the play button to execute that. And now you can see from the list here that the status is stopped. And now I will set a operation of start, execute it. And now my FTS engine has started up again. And it has started up with the changes that I just made. So you can perform similar activities with many of the other components that are listed on this screen. Let me give you another quick example of how you can use this console. Let's say for my Remedy Prod 2 server, I needed to increase the heap size for my primary Java plugin server. So I can click on the default Java plugin server, making sure I'm selecting the right server name. And then from operation, I'll choose update. Now, when I choose update, this command option becomes editable. Now I can go in here and change my command line to something like 2048M. And once I'm happy with that, I can click on the execute button. And as the message says, the change has been saved, but the process hasn't been stopped and restarted yet, so it won't take effect yet. So once I click on OK, now I can go back and choose an operation of restart, click the execute button, and now it's going to restart the primary Java plugin server on Remedy Prod 2, and when it starts up, it will now have 2048 megabytes set. One thing you want to be careful of is this interface uses the default Java plugin server on whichever server that you're connected to. So in this case, you saw that it went pretty smoothly. But if I select the same plugin server on Remedy Prod 1, which happens to be the server I'm connected to, and I make a similar update, I'm going to change the size here to 3072. Save that change. And now that change won't take effect until I restart the plugin server. But when I restart the plugin server, I'll lose access to this console. Let's just see how that works. So I'm just going to choose restart and execute. And I get an error message saying that I cannot connect to the plugin server, which is fine and is what I expect. But that plugin server will restart really quickly. And all I really need to do is click out somewhere else, click back into manage process so it refreshes it. And now I'm back and I'm connected and I can see that my change took effect. So that's all you need to know to use this screen to stop, start, and update some of your components that are run by AR Monitor. Thank you.